Tammy is preparing a shopping list right now because failure to plan is planning to fail. And Tammy is planning. And this is her office. And there are no chairs in this office except for her chair because this is not a place to come sit. It's and a mess in here right now. It's a mess, but it's a working office. And this is not a place for you to come sit by you, I mean me, and just talk and aggravate somebody that is planning. Yeah, you're, you're making And I mean very organized. This is, see, this is a shopping list. She's getting ready to print it in this printer. And then I will be sent. I will have my orders. I've I have got a, to add some things to it. I have that's a, just what's on sale. Oh, that's just what's on sale. Uh, I have a very particular set of skills. I can get exactly what you tell me to get if you tell me exactly what to get. If you don't, I may get something similar to what you would like to get. Possibly. But that's all I will get. If you send me in there without a list... I may well, come, hand me that, baby. I may come out with nothing. Here we go. Look at that. How nice that is. How could I possibly mess that up? Okay. I don't think I can. And uh, I found something that was very disturbing in this office. What? I think you know, Tammy. Are you trying to hide? What, me? Yes. I'm disturbing? No, it's very disturbing. What I found is disturbing. I'm going to show the people. Can I a cigarette? Yes. Tammy. <laughs> bought, <laughs> oh, she bought what? what? She bought a whole case. <laughs> you tell me who on the plant. First of all, I didn't even know they still made candy cigarettes. Of course. But not only do they make them, but Tammy bought a case of a variety, and they come in a variety of packs. And they're not the bubblegum kind. Yeah. They're the, just sugar kind. But you will find <laughs> When I was a kid, okay, when I was a oh, kid, and I went to the store, and my grandparents sent me in to buy cigarettes. Cool uh, Filter Kings. Cool. <laughs> Cool. I, buy cool. I got the menthols. They smoked huh? menthols, yeah. Gross. So when I went in to buy cigarettes for my grandparents, um, and you looked on the candy thing for all the kids, there would often be candy cigarettes. So I was buying real cigarettes that were going to be smoked in the car with me in a in the car with the windows rolled up, and. <laughs> I was going to be in the house with them while they smoked all these cigarettes. And I could buy my own candy cigarettes, my starter kit. So I'd know what to do, you know. I mean, I didn't fire them up. I never even attempted to light them on fire. Because back then, we could have toys and stuff and know it was a, that it was a toy. So I knew I couldn't smoke my candy cigarettes. But I could eat them. Just like Tammy. My sister would sneak. Oh, no. My papa's. No. You can say this because this is on my, my channel. My papa was a preacher and he smoked You can cigarettes. say this because this is on my channel and Melissa he won't really watch it. He really smoked um, a pipe the most, but uh -huh. he smoked cigarettes yeah. as well. Well, that's okay. He was our papa on my mama's side. And he was the preacher. Well, you had to have something to do with the deacons when you went outside on the steps. That's right. So Back you, then, everybody so smoked. So you had to smoke cigarettes with the deacons. So well, that's how you were My in. sister would sneak the uh -oh. cigarette butts <laughs> and a lighter <laughs> yes. and go out by the smokehouse. Oh, well, that makes sense. And she would smoke them. And she would... I never smoked them. I was just so good. Oh, Tammy. <laughs> you're such a... <laughs> You are such a, a guy. I really was. I know with your with your case of candy I, I cigarettes. I just felt like I would get in trouble. Yeah. You know? I didn't want to get in trouble. But you feel like so, it's okay to have the candy cigarettes. Yes. Okay. Okay. But she would smoke those when we were just kids, and of course yes. she smokes now. 
And then we caught Amy confessing <laughs> we didn't, when she was we about didn't catch five or her. six. She volunteered the information. Confessing that she had tried a cigarette. Yes. By picking it up off the bathroom floor. Yeah. She just wanted to taste it. Yeah. We were on our and way to church. Of course. Yeah. Now she smokes. Yeah. We were on our way to church and she's just out of the blue goes, I've tasted a cigarette. Yes. And we were like, <laughs> So let me just tell you, if you have kids and they sneak cigarettes. Yeah, they're probably going to smoke. Or they tell you, they yeah. confess that they've done something like that. Yeah. More than likely, they are going to smoke. She vapes, but still. Like Based smoking. on our experience. Now, that's not a scientific. That's two. That's not that's two for two that we two know of. So you may have smoked and, and snuck and smoked a little bit and didn't didn't uh, tell us if you did if you snuck and smoked yeah a cigarette butt or a cigarette yeah. when you were a kid and did tell not us and ended it, up and not and smoking did not smoke when you yeah. grew up tell Let us, us. Know. yeah, Get, yeah. Re renew our faith in humanity right now daddy i want a pork roast okay but i don't it's want, time to get back to business yeah. i don't want a pork roast that's um mm -hmm. let me see talk to me I gotta see which pork roast yeah. I want. Tell me what to do. See, she's not really telling me what to do. I'm telling her to tell me what to do. So that's okay for those of you that don't want. It must be in the second cookbook. Some people get I haven't upset. made this in forever and I've been wanting to make one. Yeah. Some people get upset. They think she's bossing me. A so. Boston butt in the crock pot. Here we go. That's what I want, a Boston butt. Okay? Oh, they were on sale last week. I could have got one at Publix. But you're not putting it in the smoker. I'm using the crock pot. I realize that. Lord. Boston Ooh. butt. Man. We need a butt mm -hmm. pan, ham and a butt roast. And so when I go to the I need slices. I'm going to say recipes. the word butt. And uh, this, this, you know, usually when I do these videos... I get to check the box on the YouTube gives you this box and it says if there's anything that's controversial or offensive, you know, you check the box before you before you publish the video and they check and make sure that you're not doing anything offensive. Well, this video I already we already have cigarettes. Well, they're candy cigarettes, but we have cigarettes. You smell like cigarettes. We have cigarettes. What's that from, Tammy? Hey, Chris. Forrest Gump. She's oh. busy. She's I, in a work mode I gotta, now. I, I gotta say something to you, right? Yeah, but I was talking. I'm gonna forget what I was saying. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Anyway, this time I'm gonna have to check the box because I mean we got cigarettes, which is controversial, and the okay. <laughs> I need. I couldn't believe she bought away when she got those shipped to our house. I was so... Anyway, go ahead. What were you going to say? Okay. Okay. They have Del Monte vegetables on sale. Yes. They're frozen vegetables. Mm -hmm. I don't want them. No. Unless they have the shoe pack corn on sale. So you don't want any vegetables? Other than shoe pack corn. The only reason that's on there is just in case that's one of them. What? I'll put if it's shoe pack. So all I want is shoe peg corn. I don't want Del Monte vegetables that are frozen except shoe peg corn. Unless they're on sale, you get the sell ones. Well, In other words, you, don't if you there's know? three different brands of shoe peg corn. Okay. And Del, Del Monte has one, and there's this on sale, you'll get the Del Monte one. And I don't know what size to get. I want at least 32 ounces of shoe peg corn. So, however many packs you need to buy to get 32 ounces, that's how much I need. Just making this for Easter. See, that's math. I put it on here, though. And y'all thought you'd never use your math when you graduated from uh, whatever it was you graduated from. Elementary, middle, high. Now, I've got some Easter candy and Easter stuff on here, and that's because I'm going to decorate the table mm -hmm. for Easter. Yes. Dinner. Okay. And I'm going to throw some of those eggs on the table. That sounds really good. Okay. That's it, baby. Oh, give me one pack of white eggs. Because my my chicken eggs aren't good for coloring. They're already colored. I know. So, by pack, do you mean a... I need just 12 A eggs. dozen? Okay. 
white. white. Don't get the brown ones. No brown eggs. And that's it. Okay. All right. And look at this out there, guys. It is rainy and overcast. I haven't been able to go fishing. And now, look at the chickens. And now. Are they still at the gate? Yeah, they're just out there waiting on you to come. Lord, have mercy. Um, and now, I gotta go to the store. But, again, she's not bossing me. That's not, that's not what's happening here. I'm letting, you notice I'm leaving the office. I didn't ask her permission. She didn't tell me to leave the office. I just left on my own. And I told her, mm, I said, I said, Tammy, do you want me to go to the store? Do you need me to go to the store? Because I will go to the store. I told her to send me to the store. And I said, make me a list. Actually, I don't think I said. I did say I'll go to the store if you need me to. I didn't say anything about a list. But that's just, I shouldn't have to say. Because any man you send to the grocery store needs a list. Don't send, don't do it. Do not even attempt to send him and tell him five or six things that you want and just expect him. That is outrageous. Let's look at the peach cobbler that's coming out of the oven. Wow. Why are you putting this on? What are you talking about? This frozen meat. Oh my God. You didn't give me directions. Well, you can't lay it on the wood. Well, I didn't know that. I thought it's frozen. What could it do? Condense. Freeze the wood. Here we go. Woo! That's fine. You browner than that. It don't matter to me. Yeah, I think cook it, it some to more. Cook it, it some more. Cook it some more. Okay. It's um, not quite ready. Not quite ready. But that'll be my reward for going to Kroger. K. Roger. He <laughs> just makes it so confused. <laughs> I can't see. I'm going to K. Roger. You know how much I slept last night? This is what's so great about being retired. <laughs> is I couldn't go to sleep. And about 2 o'clock, I was like, oh, I'm just going to get out of bed and go in the living room and watch TV or something. So I went in there. I tried to go to sleep. I couldn't go to sleep. About 5 o'clock in the morning, I was laying there, and I started thinking, you know what? It's 5 o'clock in the morning, and I haven't slept at all. And I wasn't stressed a single bit. I was just like, so what? <laughs> Who cares? If it's 5 o'clock in the morning, I don't have anything to do. I do have some stuff that I should do, but I don't have anything I have to do. I mean, I'm going to the grocery store. I guess I have to do that now that I've committed myself, but it wasn't even a stressful situation. Didn't matter. So I told Tammy, uh, I think I slept about an hour and a half, and I told <laughs> I said, I got to stay awake all day so that I can go to sleep tonight so that I can go fishing tomorrow. I did get in trouble for, I, I got bossed a little bit because I put some clothes in the, and I dried them, and then I never took them out. So there they are. And they wrinkle up like crazy. And she and got ready. I tried to put something in the dryer. Yeah, she got ready can. to put something in the dryer, and my stuff was in the dryer. Because so I now. His stuff yeah, because he's left it. it in there. Yeah, if anybody knows what that means, that means if you put the dryer on for a little bit longer, it the stuff magically loses all its wrinkles, supposedly. Which I when I was younger, and I washed all my clothes in the uh, in the field house where <laughs> coach where we washed all the practice clothes and game uniforms and stuff for the football team. That big industrial washer and dryer is where I would wash my clothes. And I didn't understand fluffing. So I was pretty wrinkled back then. Uh, but anyway, no, there's no stress. There's nothing to worry about. If I want to sleep all day, I can just go sleep all day and stay up all night for three or four days in a row and nobody would, it wouldn't matter. But it might affect my video making. Um, but I think I could probably do it. Thanks for watching. Nichols Retirement Empire. <laughs> what a crazy video. This is the craziest video I've ever made.